Hello everybody, uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I suspect you've all heard of John the Baptist. The Bible calls John the Baptist the forerunner, the person who would come on the scene before the Messiah in order to introduce the Messiah to the world. And John the Baptist pointed to Jesus Christ in John 1.29 he pointed to Jesus and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. He called Jesus Christ the Lamb of God. Why would he call him the Lamb of God? Well, it was part of the Jewish religion at that time to sacrifice a lamb for one's sins. And Jesus Christ is called the Lamb of God because he was sacrificed like a lamb. When Jesus suffered and died on the cross, he served as a sacrifice for our sins. Now, John the Baptist says, Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Of the world. And it also says in 1 John 2.2, 2, He, referring to Jesus, is the propitiation for our sins. Propitiation. I know it's a, it's a big word, but it just means that it's the atoning sacrifice. The, the death of Jesus Christ on the cross served as a sufficient payment for all of our sins. Uh, all the sins that we've ever done, all the sins that we will ever do, Jesus' death on the cross was sufficient payment for all of our sins. And, and it says, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. In other words, when Jesus died on the cross, he not only paid for the sins of believers, but he paid for the sins of unbelievers. He paid for the sins of the whole world. Now, that means that even if you're an atheist, Jesus Christ died for your sins. If you're a Muslim, or a Jew, or a Buddhist, Jesus Christ paid for your sins. He died for the sins of the whole world, for those of us who believe, and also for everyone else. Isn't that wonderful? So, I've got good news for you. The, the problem between man and God today is not sin, Oh, I'm not encouraging people to sin. God doesn't want us to sin. I don't want you to sin. And if you sin, certainly your life will suffer consequences for sins. But as far as hell is concerned, nobody goes to hell today because of their sins. Because Jesus Christ already paid for all of our sins. Why would we go to hell? We go to hell simply because of unbelief. There is one difference between everyone in heaven and everyone in hell. It's not sin because people in heaven are sinners. People in hell are sinners. The difference between the people in heaven and hell is one thing. Faith in Jesus Christ for salvation. Those people in heaven go to heaven because they receive the gift of eternal life in heaven by putting your, their faith in the Savior, Jesus Christ. Everyone in hell, they're there because they did not receive the gift of eternal life. Now, it says in John 3.36, 
He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Do you believe on the Son? Do you believe on the Son of God, Jesus Christ, for your salvation? You, if you believe on Jesus Christ, that means that you are putting your faith on Him. You are depending on Him for the forgiveness of sins. You are depending on Jesus Christ for salvation. You are relying entirely on Jesus. You're not trying to get into heaven some other way. You rely on Jesus for salvation. It says, He that believeth on the Son... The Son of God, Jesus Christ, hath everlasting life. So that's good news. If you believe on Jesus Christ, the Son of God is your Savior, you have everlasting life. You're going to live forever in heaven. But that verse goes on to say, He that believeth not the Son shall not see life. If you do not believe on the Son of God, Jesus Christ, for your salvation, you don't have everlasting life. You will not live forever in heaven. That's why people go to hell. Jesus already paid for your sins. He paid for the sins of everyone who's ever lived. He paid for the sins of everyone who ever will live. He paid for my past sins, my present sins, my future sins. All my sins and all your sins were charged against Jesus Christ as he suffered and died on the cross. It's called imputation. Our sins were charged against Jesus Christ. And when we put our faith in Jesus for salvation, his righteousness is credited to us. Now, isn't that a great deal? It's a wonderful gift. We receive His righteousness. We receive credit for His sinless perfect life when we put our faith in Jesus Christ as our Savior. But the end of the, that verse says, He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. If you do not believe on Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as your Savior, if you do not believe He is your Savior because He paid for your sins on the cross, then the wrath of God abides on you. I don't want the wrath of God to fall on you. God does not want His wrath to come down on you either. The Bible says God does not desire that anyone should perish. God doesn't want any of us to go to hell. That's why he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins. Now, it would be a shame for you to go to hell since your sins have already been paid for. You see, there's only one thing God requires of you. There's only one thing that you need to do in order to receive the gift of eternal life in heaven. Will you do the one thing God requires? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for your salvation. Receive the gift of eternal life. That's my prayer for you in the name of Jesus.